have Paragon's biggest launch yet. Paragon's dropping their Candyland collection March 7th. I hope you guys are ready because these are the pastels we've been waiting for. We've been begging for them. We've been saying, come on y'all, where are the spring colors? Here they are, right here. Mm. Eight colors <laughs> to choose from, eight unique beautiful pastel colors. You could wear a legging a day for a whole week and still have one left over at the end of it. Very good. You're right. That's true. You got a color a day. Uh-huh. Keeps the doctor away. They're coming out with a palm cover for the very first time we've ever seen. Just in time for spring, I have officially decorated. I'm good to go. Now I need to transition into my spring wardrobe. This is what's going to kickstart it for me. I'm excited. I'm going to need that t-shirt back then soon. Okay. So hope you brought a spare. Don't know what to say. So mark your calendars for March 7th, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And in case you guys don't know, they do offer early access at 1 p.m. EST, just in case you wanna make sure you get your size. Can you see these lollipops? Got it for this video. Plus my lips are popping. I got my new Kendra Scott jewelry on. You're in your element right now. I just, I am. You know, you're, you're living your best life today. I am. Today. Let's go ahead and see what they're dropping March 7th, shall we? We shall. Yes. That mannequin looks stupid. Those look like fun brass knuckles. It's like you can mess someone up, but they won't be too upset. Let's see what colors we have. First things first, orange sickle. Ooh, creamy orange, lemon drop, very pale Easter egg yellow, mint chip, okay. Favorite ice cream, taffy. Okay, this is the darkest color that they have in this palette. Sugar rush, this is like an aqua blue color. Lollipop, almost like a very pale lavender. Bubble gum, this one looks absolutely delicious. And cotton candy, so almost like a peachy pink. If this color palette gave you a sweet tooth, you're planning to shop the drop on March 7th, feel free to use my code GATA at checkout and it does save you 10% off of all your Paragon orders. Also goes towards helping support this channel so Bay and I can deliver you these reviews. Yeah, yeah. Before we hop into actually trying on these colors, because I know what you're all thinking, the gist of this video really is gonna be about the sheerness. <laughs> This is gonna be a very interesting video because if you guys watch my channel, Paragon's really good in the squat proof department, but given that these are the lightest colors I've ever freaking seen from them, this is literally going to be Paragon's biggest test yet when it comes to sheerness. We're trying on every single color in these leggings and I made sure I grabbed one of each shade specifically for the squat test. And the reason being is because this is their rec stretch material. That's what I focused on in this drop because that is my favorite when it comes to Paragon fabric. They're dropping two different fabrics in this drop, the Rec Stretch and the Ultra Lux. Not a huge fan of the Ultra Lux. Rec Stretch I could work out in all day, all night, wear out, and it's all day wear comfort. The Ultra Lux, while being very, very comfortable, wrinkles a little bit, the material's a little finicky with me, it runs a bit big, it gets awkward in some places, so I definitely focused on Rec Stretch. All right guys, so here's everything you can expect coming in the Rec Stretch material. We have the Radiate Bra, which is a restock. They have classic crops, short sleeve crop tops, the original Sculpt Seam Plus shorts. We didn't get any of those. Ashley's not fond of their shorts. And we have the original Sculpt Seam Plus leggings. The Ultra Lux is a lot simpler. We're only looking at the dual fit bra, the pump cover, the curved contour Sculpt Seam shorts, which are new, and the leggings. So there's a lot more dropping in the Rec Stretch material as opposed to the Ultra Lux. So I'm gonna pop up what colors are coming in the Ultra Lux versus which colors are coming in the Rec Stretch. As you can see, the Rec Stretch material is coming with a ton of color options. The Ultra Lux is only coming in about half or a little more than half. So please be mindful of this while you're shopping. If you love the Ultra Lux and you want it in a certain color, double check that it's gonna be dropping in that color that you want. Keep in mind, the Ultra Lux fabric is coming in the OG Sculpt Seam, whereas the Rec Stretch is coming in the Sculpt Seam Plus. Another reason why I love my Rec Stretch, Sculpt Seam Plus. Glute enhancement times 10, discreet, Beautiful, flattering, I don't need to go into it. You guys already know, right? You do watch my channel, right? 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 <laughs> right? If not, definitely subscribe. What on earth are you waiting for? <laughs> the candy man can. <clears throat> Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna start with the color Sugar Rush because that's the top I was wearing when we started this video. So I'm gonna keep it consistent. I'm wearing the classic crop. This is brand new. I am not gonna lie to you, mostly all of the bras that I grabbed are the Radiate because it's the Rec Stretch material. The other bra, the dual fit bra, 
That's gonna be the Ultra Lux fabric. So I didn't grab any of those, you know me. I said I'm not really a huge fan of Ultra Lux. I am sticking to the rec stretch and that I did. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you guys, I'm not gonna wanna take this down when we're done with this video. This is so beautiful that I think I wanna use it as interior design. <laughs> You already know these original Sculpt Seam Plus leggings we have talked about ad nauseum. Why don't we kick it off with the classic crop because it's a new piece. All right, so this classic crop is an actual built-in bra crop top. Check it out. I always feel weird doing this, even though, you know, those are bra pads, not my actual titties. Something I personally noticed out of the gate, I didn't even know this had built-in support because when you put it down, mm -hmm. there's zero indication. Like it is a smooth, oh, I perfect lay. It I did smooth. not see it for a second. I actually really appreciate the angles. They dip a bit inward right here around the arms. I like that because it prevents extra bulge. Still getting a little bit of it, but not nearly as bad as if they started right here. It also helps that this is not tight at all. So there's zero dig. Are we seeing this stretch? Now this is obviously just a layer going over. This is the gist of the support in this thick band here, but it's not overly tight. So it is very comfortable. I would stick with my true size small, which I got in every single piece today. If you're in between, it definitely depends on your bust size. If you were to size up, it could make for extra room here that you don't want. If you size down, maybe this band might be a little too tight. So it really does depend on your measurements, but true size is perfect for me. This really is a simple classic crop. And again, it is made out of rec stretch. So it fits and feels exactly like the leggings. With each color I try on, you can see the squat test right over here. Now me personally, I'm always wearing a nude seamless thong, especially with these colors. They're very light. I do believe this color is one of my favorite out of the bunch, but I'm gonna try on next what I think my other favorite color is. We are trying on the mint chip. Booty popping. Oh, oh my. I freaking love these scrunch sculpts. Now, first things first though. This mint chip and probably that lemon drop is gonna be the most scary to put on when it comes to sheerness. Here we go, sheerness of the mint chip. You can tell it's gonna be sheer when you pull it on. The band is do definitely double lined, so it looks opaque, but the rest of it looks lighter. That's how you can tell the actual thin material is going to be a bit sheer. Why does every great thing in life have a consequence. That's what <laughs> I want to know. Why can't I wear this light of a mint green and it just be so? Why does it have to be sheer? Can anybody tell me that? Tell me why. Tell me why. <gasps> why? This is the only other top I got other than these radiate bras. We'll get back to this bra in a second. I, I grabbed a classic crop top in the mint. This is a new piece. Look at that. Mmm, that stretch feels good. While Ashley's getting changed, you guys, the only colors are gonna be orange sickle, cotton candy, mint chip, taffy, and black. I am just glad that this mint chip made it to the crop top selections because this is the big eye catcher for me. I felt like with certain colors, crop top work, some I'm just like, mm. This is, this is it. This is a very comfortable crop. Damn, look at that stretch. Oh, even better. Okay, so we have a classic scoop line. This is a crop, not quite midi. It's a longer crop. It's not too cropped. There's no built-in bus pads, no band. This is just a basic crop top you can throw over your sets. I did notice it's a bit sheer. You can see that, all right? So you need to have at least the same color or nude underneath. So even if you wanna wear this styled out with a cute pair of jean shorts or something in the summertime, you could, because this is so breathable. You know Rec Stretch, love working out in it because the material is so lightweight, it's thin, it's breathable, and it wicks very well. So if you sweat, you're gonna dry very fast. How is it around the arms? Is it too tight around the arms? It's you're you're sensitive to that. It's very stretchy. Now you do have a seam here. So if you're in between, if you want a little more body fit than size down, if you're like, no way, I'm super finicky and I couldn't even deal with slight snugness here, this seam might aggravate you if you sized down. So it's not bothering me. I'm very comfortable, but it would if I sized down completely. I know that much. Do me a favor while you got it on, give me an arm test. Bet. Let's see how it lays ups and downs, ups and downs. Here she goes up and down. She's dancing, 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 dancing. Yes, I'm dancing, 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 dancing. Working, 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 <laughs> working. Uh, I'm working, 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 working. Okay, so it rides up ever so slightly, but it's not a big deal. Your boobies ain't gonna pop out or anything like that. So I want you to roll it up. This is where it was before. Whoa. Eh? Lemon drop. AKA those banana candies that you get in a 25 cent machine. But yeah, just like the mint chip, this is pretty see-through. Look at that. You can see, oh my, mm. you can definitely see that dark 
brown underwear that I have. So these aren't gonna be cellulite friendly either because these are very low support. This is actually reminding me, okay, I'm getting super alpha elite vibes right now, except no high compressive band, which got old after a while. This is the same compression as Paragon's Rec Stretch usually is. Their leggings, very low. Their band, about low to moderate. For my girlies who are here for the very first time, first of all, welcome, hi. This is what the Sculpt Seam Plus looks like. This is one of their noticeable seams when holding it up. However, it's very discreet when wearing. Like, I'm not seeing any crazy ruching around the tush. It spreads out nicely and it's very, very comfortable. Something I have to hand it to them is their scrunch. It really is undetectable. It doesn't ride up. It doesn't hurt. You don't feel it at all. See ya. Don't get lost. Bubble gum pink on duty right now. That band to legging contrast is so much better. It is. So, so much better. Okay, so I had a feeling the darker shade of pink would be it. I am a little fearful of this very, very light cotton candy color. Now let's talk about the camel toe situation. There really is no situation <laughs> because I'm wearing thick underwear. They do claim to be camel toe proof as a whole. Like their leggings are anti camel toe. I think that really depends. I've said this in past videos. I'm gonna say it again. If you're like going commando, you're gonna get a freaking camel toe. This fabric is so thin. How could you actually not? Depending on the thickness of your undies is going to determine the grade of your under toe. Camel toe. <laughs> I guess it is an undertow. Technically. Especially if you do choose to work out in these. If you're squatting down, I don't see how it wouldn't just kind of just suction on up there. Now you guys know I love these kinds of colors. In case you're wondering which one's my least favorite, it's going to be lollipop. <laughs> okay. A little lollipop. Not my favorite. <laughs> This color is not my favorite because I need a bit more vibrancy in my life. And this specific tone of light purple, it can appear just too light, almost white, almost like a light gray. I feel like with this type of light lavender color, it's just not as happy as the other color. Mm, <laughs> Let's point. face facts here. So my least favorite color is lollipop. I knew that from the get-go. I was even hesitant on even picking this color because I was like, I don't really like it that much. But I picked it anyway because I wanted the full scale, the entire color palette to show you guys. Which by the way, you're probably like, wait, girl, why only leggings? When you have these hot of colors and it springs around the corner and summer, what are you doing? Where's the shorts? I'm gonna be honest with you, they roll to a crazy degree. And for a while there, I didn't really feel comfortable wearing shorts. As of recently, I'm starting to wear them more often, but the rolling still just gets to me. So if I'm working out in them, which I would be doing, they're gonna end up rolling too much and pissing me off. So I stuck with the leggings. Okay, I am going to go for this freaking orange baby. Oh, creamsicle. I have been eyeing you, bitch. I just wanted to feel if this felt any different from the last few launches. And I think it's the color that's making me feel like these are extra thin this time around. But after doing the touch test, I, I feel like they are the same. They are. It's the lighter colors throwing me off. I'm like, oh my God, they're so thin. No, it's the light color that's showing everything. Hold up. We've definitely seen this color in a Paragon legging before. Yeah, there it is. The wavelength. Mm -hmm. Even the lighter part of this wavelength hmm. is still darker than this orange sickle. So I definitely see some sheerness here. Band is definitely more opaque. So this is gonna be one of those leggings. I feel like this is going to be the biggest determining factor whether you shop the launch or not. I really do. I think these colors are spot on beautiful, but I do think there's gonna be a lot of gals saying, look, I wanted to shop this launch, but given that a lot of these colors are pretty sheer, I'm seeing the color difference in the band. I feel like the thinness with this light of color might steer people away from this drop. Other people might be like, look, I'm gonna go and get one of every color because that's how much I love these bright, beautiful pastel colors. I definitely get and see both sides to this. How effing cute would some mix and matches be? Mm. Are you, yeah? Okay. Sorry, not sorry. These can really get played with. You seeing this? Blue and orange might be my favorite. Oh, 
Oh, that's a spicy pineapple. Real quick, I just pulled it up online. Yeah. The material composition of these, the original Rex Stretch, uh -huh. is the exact same as all the original Rex Stretch original leggings that they already have. Good. So the touch test proved true. It is the exact same material. Excellent. That being 84% nylon, 16% spandex. I wanted to let you guys know these fit like the Rex Stretch you know and love. I wanted to make mention because, for example, the Desby Wavelength collab that I love so much. That fit entirely different. That waistband was super compressive. You're gonna get your traditional, what you're used to with these. They didn't play any games and just throw in a compressive waistband here. This is identical to what you're used to. For the most part, they're very consistent with their drops, but sometimes, like the wavelength, you just never know. They just dropped in a super compressive waistband and didn't tell anybody. I wanna think that that's why I'm valuable to you, right? That's why we do these reviews, that's why you watch, and that's why you should be subscribing. Yeah, because we don't sleep. We don't sleep, we, we really stay don't. up. We don't go on vacation, we don't take sick days. I'm like Dwight from The Office. Like, you can always count on me, girl, I got you. <laughs> Ready? Cotton candy. Oh man. When I first put these on, I see a little bit of bunching right here. This is the type of material that I can play around with. Move up, similar to Athlete Amplify. Smooth it out and it works and I'm five foot three. So this inseam's perfectly fine for me. 25 inches for those who are wondering. It's 25, 25 is my sweet spot. Be honest, is this lipstick cute AF? Or just gaudy? Comment down below. <laughs> Sometimes when I put on bright lipsticks, I'm like, oh, I look so cute. And then after just an hour of wear, I look at myself and I'm like, I look and feel like an actual clown right now. Who let me out of the house like this? Bay let me out of the house like this. I hold the unpopular opinion of not giving a f what people think. So if you like it, girl, if you wanna do something that makes you feel happy, confident, beautiful, do it. Because at the end of the day, no one pays your bills. Bingo! And, and nobody is gonna think about you after. No one's gonna be thinking about you when they're putting their head down on their pillow at night. Do what you want, life's too short. Now, real quick, let me touch base on this bra because I almost forgot. Pretty sure I already reviewed this one, the Radiate bra, rec stretch material, you already know. Very true to size. It's extremely comfortable to the point where nothing's digging. Everything is laying just as it should be. It feels just as comfortable up here as it is down here. So you guys know 10 out of 10 comfort when it comes to these rec stretch leggings. I'm gonna go ahead and say the same thing for this Radiate bra. And that's saying something because there's an internal elastic band here. You know how that can get, but it's not pinching or cinching one bit. It lays nicely. If you're in between, I'm gonna say the same thing as I said before with the other tops. Depends on your bust size, because I know if I were to size up, this would probably just be a little bit loose and big for my busts. But if I were to size down, this might cinch in right here. This could prove to be a little tricky, so you have to go based off of your bust size for this. Back is very cute. Look at how it branches on out, does its own thing. I like how it stems out, branches out. I think it goes right down the back, very beautiful bra. There's no adjustments at all, but there are removable bra pads. So this is still a very light to moderate support bra, whereas these leggings are straight up light support. Shall we try on the taffy? Last but not least, huh? Laffy Taffy, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, color bum, combo bum, inspo. Boom, boom, girl, shake that Laffy Taffy. That Laffy Taffy, shake that Laffy Taffy. That Laffy Taffy, girl, shake that Laffy Taffy. Where are my 2000s babes at, come on. If I actually you weren't, don't know what you're singing at all. If you weren't bumping that in middle school, but yet not really knowing what the hell they were talking about, shout out. I never bumped it in middle school and I don't know what you're talking about, so. <laughs> You remember this? Nope. No way. Uh. Hey. Oh. Hey. Why do I not have any balance? Bye-bye oh. cotton candy. Hello. Taffy. Damn. Ooh, this is nice. This is a really nice color. That's Holy probably the crap. best one yet. But you've also been on a blue kick. You're in your blue era right now, <laughs> like Picasso. I'm in just my color era, okay? I've been wearing pink, blue. This is so unlike me. I honestly don't recognize the person I've become, in a good way. This is more or less what we're talking about here. <laughs> and I think the squat test can prove. If sheerness is your main concern here, you gotta go for taffy. I wanna let you guys know, now that I've officially tried on every single solitary color in this palette other than black, every color is fitting me the same. That is super important to know because you can easily 
grab this pink and then this blue and they could fit entirely different because they're different colors. We've had that happen before with different brands and I'm very happy to say at the end of all of this that each and every color you see here is very consistent in sizing. That is reassuring in case you are looking to buy multiple colors. I'm gonna go ahead and say the same thing I always do when it comes to the rack stretch leggings. They are very true to size. If you are in between, sizing down would be how I would personally go. I think if you sized up, you could run the risk of some extra material. Nobody likes a wrinkly crotch. But if you were to size down, you're obviously gonna have more compression, not just in the waistband, but throughout the legs as well. And given that this color palette is so light, you are running the risk of even more sheerness. So there's pros and cons to sizing up or down if you're in between. I think sizing up, it'll be a little more opaque since you're gonna have more material to work with. You just might have some bunching and extra material in places. You're gonna lose what little support you already have. <laughs> <laughs> so the waistband is going to be even looser. You catch my drift. Now the inseam will stay the same no matter what size you get. These sizes range from an extra small to a 2XL yeah. and I'm pretty sure it's a 25 inch inseam across. Mm -hmm. But I know if I was in between I'd definitely be sizing down in these rather than up. That's just me. Don't get it twisted folks. This is not a small, a medium, but a large. And that head hole is still like Jim Carrey coming out of that rhino, that large mammal. This is the oversized fit that I expect when they say oversized fit. The fact that I had to size up two sizes to number one, get the oversized fit that I was looking to achieve, number two, share with Bay. So if you want a truly oversized pump cover, you might want to size up a few sizes. I can't tell in this small camera if this looks stupid or not. No, not Tucked at all. In. No, I can't no, no. tell if I look like The sleeves are very, very long. But how cute is this Paragon? Keep this coming. Is this an indication that you guys are gonna come out with new things? You're playing around with palm covers. What's next? Come on, you can tell me. This is about the length you're looking at. This design is super cute though. They went for a very fluffy cursive font. They added in a little bit of a gradient behind the letters, a little drop shadow, a little black sparkle. I think they did a nice job incorporating a palm cover that you can mix around. And can we also give them credit here that this is their first palm cover ever and yeah. they did not go skimp on the quality of the no. branding. This is not the Jersey Shore no. heat sealed screen oh. print that you get. Nice job, Paragon. You guys really started off my march just right. Now, if you guys stayed to the end of this video, you're the real MVPs. And for that, I thank you. And for that, we are going to do a giveaway. Well, 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 well. I'm really excited. We're giving away a $100 Paragon gift card. So you can shop for whatever you want, but specifically this Candyland drop. A specifically. A specifically. You can use it on the new drop, the Candyland, or future launch, doesn't matter. It's a gift card. You you can use it however the hell you want, girl. You can bank it, stack it, throw Whatever. it, re-gift it. Re-gift it. You could even give it as a gift, man. Somebody's birthday coming up, enter on in. It's free, baby, it's free. Our giveaways are always free entry because we would not do that to you. <laughs> Purchase entry giveaways are illegal. And not for nothing, even if they weren't illegal, I don't think I would do it because- There's so many other ways to support a channel without having to use a link or a code. You watching, giving this video a thumbs up, just being subscribed. I mean, all of those ways are showing your support, commenting, even just a comment. Mm. So we wanna make things very fair for you guys. Yeah. And just let you guys know that we appreciate every single one of you. Yeah. So with that being said, here's the giveaway. Number one, like this video please. Number two, you got to be subscribed to this channel. So if you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button. I don't think you'll regret it. You might over time, but that's okay. <laughs> the only thing constant in life is change. But if you like us now, subscribe. live in the moment. And number three, comment down below your favorite Candyland color from this collection. We will be choosing the gift card winner at complete random on March 5th. That's two days before the launch. That gives you plenty of time to respond to our comment if you're chosen. And we're gonna get your email, send you the gift card through your email. Be mindful of spam. I will only be reaching out to the winners through my Ashley Gata account with nothing else included. No other letters, numbers, symbols, whatever. It's Ashley Gata and that's that. Now I'll be responding to your comment if you win. Once the winner is selected, you have 48 hours to respond or else we have to redraw, it's only fair. Good luck to all who enter in on this giveaway. Thank you guys so much for your support. We really appreciate you. And don't forget our code GATA saves you 10% on all your Paragon orders. We will catch you in our next video. Bye. Mwah.